Today we're going to discuss geometric solids. Both of these are pyramids. I know they're pyramids because all of the sides are triangles and they come to a point together at the top. They are, however, two different types of pyramids. One is a triangular pyramid and one is a rectangular pyramid. I know this because if I look at their bases, the triangular pyramid has a base that's shaped like a triangle, and the rectangular pyramid has a base that's shaped like a rectangle. Notice that when you have the base of the triangle, there, there are three faces that come off the sides, the edges. That gives it all together three faces and one base, which would be four faces, four flat surfaces. Because the rectangular pyramid has a base with four sides, it has four triangles coming off, and it, that gives it five faces, or five flat surfaces. Notice also, with the rectangular pyramid, all of the faces, except for the base, are triangles. So even though it's a rectangular pyramid, it has four triangles on it. Now, if we take our triangular pyramid, we can now compare it to a triangular prism. And here's what makes pyramids and prisms different. A pyramid has one base. There it is. A prism has two bases. Two congruent bases. Congruent means the same size and the same shape. So, these two triangles are considered the two congruent bases of this prism and it is because the bases are shaped like triangles called a triangular prism. Notice just like with the rectangular pyramid that had triangular faces, the triangular prism has rectangular faces. It's only called a triangular prism because of the shape of the two congruent bases. Triangular prism differs from a rectangular prism because the bases on a rectangular prism are two congruent rectangles. Now, each time I've referred to one of these rectangles, you've looked at it and you've said, oh, that's a square. And that is true. And each one of these that is a square, however, because the definition of a rectangle tells us that a rectangle has to have four 90 degree angles and two sets of parallel lines. I can also call this square rectangle. And that's what people do just in case a square um, a rectangle looks like a square but isn't quite a square. So they're not making a mistake by calling it a rectangular prism or a rectangular pyramid.